Time now to take a look at what's been happening in the world of sports. Joining us in the studio is our sports editor, Paul Need. Good evening, Paul. Hello there. So let's first with the figure skating. For the first time ever, Korea has met won medals at the ISU World Team Tro Trophy event. Yes, that's right. Yeah, over in Tokyo at the weekend, Korea won silver thanks to the performances of Lee Hae-in and Cha jun hwan Lee Hae-in finished in first place in both the short program as well as the free skate, and this earned Korea 24 points. She also recorded a personal best in both of those events with 76.9 and 148.57 respectively. Cha jun hwan meanwhile, earned 23 points for Korea. He finished second in the short program with uh, 101.33 points to record what is a best ever score for a Korean male skater. In the free skate, Cha finished first with 187.82 points. And so in terms of the overall scoring for Team Korea, they picked up 95 points and 47 came from E and Cha. Only four countries had won medals in the competition before this year, those being the United States, Japan, Russia and Canada. Well, to football and the Premier League, goals for Son Heung Min and Hwang Yi Chan. Yes, that's right. Uh, for Son Heung Min, his came on Saturday uh, and he opened the scoring for Tottenham Hotspur. It was the first time actually that Son had scored in consecutive matches this season. But despite taking the lead through Son, Spurs went on to lose 3-2 to Bournemouth. This leaves Spurs three points behind Newcastle in fourth place, who have played one game fewer. The two play each other this Sunday. For Huang Yichan, his goal came in what was his 50th Premier League appearance. He came off the bench on Saturday during Wolverhampton Wanderers' 2-0 home win over Brentford, and he made an instant impact. He replaced Pablo Sarabia in the 64th minute, and with the score at 1-0, and just five minutes later, he'd found the back of the net. Huang pounced on a loose ball inside the six-yard box to notch his second league goal of the season. The win puts Wolves on 34 points in 13th place, seven points clear of the relegation zone. And over in Europe, Napoli and Kim min look like they're having a li little bit of like late season wobble. Yes, that's right. They're now without a win in their, in their last two matches in all competitions. The Serie A leaders on Sunday drew nil-nil with Verona. But on the plus side, defender Kim min was part of a defence that kept a clean sheet. Napoli, despite drawing at home to a team in the relegation zone, sit 14 points clear at the top of the table with eight games to go. Four more wins will be enough to seal a first Scudetto in 33 years since the 89-90 season. And in the K-League, over the weekend, the reigning champions of K, uh, Ulsan Hyundai, suffered their first loss of the new season. Yes, Ulsan on Sunday lost 2-1 to Dejon Hanna Citizen. Uh, Ulsan had begun the new season with six wins in a row and were looking for a record equaling seventh win. Suwon Blue Wings in 1998 and Songnam in 2003 both recorded seven wins from their first seven matches in those seasons. But goals from Lee Jin-hyun and Hee Yun shik for Daejeon in the first half meant Ulsan were unable to equal that record. Daejeon are back in K-League 1 for the first time since 2015 and after an excellent start, sit third following four wins, two draws and just one loss. And finally to golf and the LPGA, Song Yujin came ever so close to winning a lot of championships. Yeah, so very, very close. Yeah, she was a sponsor invite as well and shocked everyone there in Hawaii. Uh, but she finished 12 under par, 276 to tie with Grace Kim of Australia and Yu Liu of China. Second place was sealed after a playoff which took place on the par 5 18th hole. Sung recorded a bogey while Liu was on par and Grace Kim hits a birdie for the win. For Korean-Australian Grace Kim, it was her first ever LPGA title. And Sung took part as a sponsor invitee after winning the Lotte Open in the KLPGA Tour last year. All right, Paul, thank you for the wrap-up. Thank you.